Hi, George here. In Photoshop Elements 2023, they removed or changed several of the options inside of some of the guided edits. Let's take a look at the pattern brush where they have made some big changes on what's available with that brush. We'll go up here to edit and then guided edits right here. And you find that under the fun edits and it's right down here. Click on the pattern brush and here's a pattern brush. And you notice over here on the right hand side, quite a few things have gone away in here. The faded out hearts are new. These three are new in here. This one is an improvement on one of the original images. This is original. The star is new. These leaves are new. These are new. These little seed things. This stuff is new. That's original. These are all new in here. These are all new. So is that. This replaces a different butterfly from before. This replaces the previous confetti. And these are both from the original. So basically about half of what was in here before is gone and several more have been added in and several more variations. So it depends on whether or not some of these were your favorites and they're now gone or some of these new ones will become new favorites. I personally like these swirls down here. I think these are really fun, but all in all, it's still a real fun tool to use. Now, the way you use this is that you simply choose one of your patterns in here and make sure you have protect subject selected. What happens here is that Photoshop Elements goes in, it finds where the subject is, puts a mask over the subject. You don't see any of this stuff happening, of course. And then it puts the patterns in behind the subject. Without this checked, the pattern will go on front of the subject. So it depends upon where you want the pattern. If you want it behind or in front of or overlapping the subject, it's up to you. Let's do one of our swirls down here. Just grab this kind of a swirly thing right here. And you can either paint with this or you can fill the whole area with this. You can choose your size. You can have a scattering amount. I'm going to choose a bit of a scattering, a bit larger size, and then simply come in here and then paint this in like that. And we have some nice kind of bubbles happening, and you'll see that they're in behind the character in here, in behind our subject. That is the protect subject happening. Now, if I come in and do some in the background like this, and then I unprotect the subject, they then come in front of the subject like that. So you have that ability to show or hide them on the subject. So it's really up to you whether you want those on top or not. But it's a fun and easy to use. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, you can come in here and erase some of the patterns. Click on Pattern Eraser Tool. Choose your brush size. And you can then erase some of the things that are overlapping and leave other ones. So I could have some of this stuff here and some of this stuff not. And that allows me to have most of the effect in behind with just a few coming on top. And I think that's a real interesting effect that way. It has a bit more of a realistic look to it. There we go. And you also can add a bit of a blur if you want to, to these into the background, I'll leave the blur off. If you use a blur, you can refine that blur, but there's no need to. And then once you're happy with the effect, come down to next and then choose where you want to take this image after that point, either save it, save it as something else, go for to quick edit or expert mode, or take it right out to a print or Flickr or Twitter. I always go to expert mode and that gives me some more options at this point. Notice in here that we have our subject here selected. Here's our background right there. That's our background mask. And this top layer, this is the bubble layer. So I can come in here and do more work on that layer at this point once we're inside of expert mode. I love some of these new patterns. I actually liked the old confetti pattern, but you know, things change. So I just kind of go with that. I can still go back to an earlier version of Photoshop Elements and use that pattern on the earlier version. One of the nice things about Photoshop Elements is when you install a new version, they don't erase or uninstall the older version. So you can still go back and use that one. If you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.